Hi there ladies and gents, this is your neighborhood friendly Oxhorn and in this video I'm going to show you how to convert an armor or outfit to uh, CBBE, which is a body type that is popular with modders who like unique outfits and costumes for their settlers and for other NPCs in the game. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm, is I'm going to convert the railroad uniform that I reviewed in a previous video to CBBE so that it works on the player character and other NPCs. And we'll be doing this completely from scratch. So here we are in Outfit Studio. Uh, you need to download Body Slide from the Nexus and uh, it comes with Outfit Studio. Uh, you launch Body Slide and then in the lower right hand corner there's a button that you click on to launch Outfit Studio. So here we are in Outfit Studio and first we're going to start a brand new project and uh, we have to choose a body. The first step is to choose a body. Now we've got uh, a couple of different, there are lots of different bodies that are that you can use in Fallout 4, including Jane body, uh, the vanilla body, or whatever, but we're gonna do CBBE since this is the most popular body in the entire game. So all we're doing right now is choosing the body that this new outfit is gonna be compatible with. Next, we're going to uh, create a name for this project and I'm gonna call this Railroad Uniform Dark. I've already done this for the light tan version and so now I'm gonna do it for the dark version. Now we have to load the outfit slash mesh file. So we're working from an outfit that we downloaded from the Nexus. This is the Railroad Uniform and I've already converted the light version so we're going to go to female dark. I know that this .nif file is the mesh that I need uh, that, I'm, that I'm going to have to convert. So we're going to open that and then we'll choose automatically search, search for textures here and click finish. The reason we have to do the conversion process to begin with is because the CBBE body is, um, it has many more polygons, it's a much better body, but that means that outfits designed for vanilla uh, Fallout 4 bodies aren't always going to fit as we see in this case. You see how we have some of the skin from the underlying CBBE body kind of sticking through? We need to fix that, and so the way we're going to do this is go to the tool set up here and click this bulging one. This is the increase mesh section, and then um, what basically all you got to do is uh, click on the part that you want to increase. So let me see if I can explain this. Here in this little tree right here, we have three different uh, options. CBBE, which is the underlying body layer, the jacket layer, and the belts layer. Now for the, in this example, the shoes, the pants, and the belts are all part of the belts layer. You can only make changes um, on a layer by layer basis. Now we don't want to make any changes to the body. That's the CBBE layer. So we're not going to select that. We right now want to make changes to the pants which are found in the belts layer. So let's choose the belts layer and that means that any action we take in this visualization screen is going to be done only to that belts layer. Then let's go and take this increase mesh volume uh, button. Let's select that. Oh, and it looks like the pants are actually attached to the jacket layer. There we go. You can always tell because now my, my marker has actually shown up. And then what we'll do is we'll left click to bring the pants out from underneath the skin. So the issue with this mesh is that um, the body doesn't have the proper coordinates. It doesn't know where on the mesh it's supposed to live. And so you have to just go through and manually choose uh, what parts you want to raise up a little bit to make it above the skin. And there's no exact science here, so we're gonna, uh, you see underneath the coat flaps, there's a little bit of skin sticking out, and uh, we're just gonna be covering that up. On the inner thigh, there looks like there's some as well. So we're gonna raise the pant texture up a little bit. And you can also tweak your brush settings by twirling down brush settings here and increasing or decreasing the size. That gives me a huge brush to deal with, which is too much. So I'm gonna put my size around there. Uh, maybe a little bigger. And then you can fiddle with strength, focus, and spacing as well. I've already got mine settings where I like it, so I'm not gonna tweak it too much. All right, looks like there's a little issue here on the back. So let's raise, whoop, I think I went a little too fast there. So if you go too much, click on the decrease one, which is right next to it. It's the little indent decrease volume mesh. 
And let's make sure that the size is low and that the strength is low. And then I'm just going to push this back down a little bit because I don't want it to bulge outwards. And now I'm going to very gently tap it. There we go. We don't want big bulges in our outfits. It's it's not going to look good. So I covered up that, that missing seam. Let's see. Here's one on the sleeve. You see there's some skin sticking out there. Got that one. And uh, it's looking pretty good. So now let's deal with the back of the boots here. We're going to choose our belts layer because the boots are attached to the belts layer. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to gently scrub over the boots until we get it fixed. Now that's interesting. I wonder why that's not... There we go. That was just a really bad one. I really had to scrub that hard to get that out of there. All right, how's it looking? Bottom of the sole, that's pretty good. So there is a little bit up there, but that's gonna be covered by the jacket. I'm not too worried about it. Eh, I got it a little bit. There we go, it takes a little bit of scrubbing. Okay, so we've got a mesh that we like. Now I've got everything covered and it's it fits my CBBE body. Now we have to do a few things before we export it. Go to slider and go to set base shape. Once that's done, go to slider, confirm selected, or conform selected, then go to slider and conform all. Okay, it's exactly the way I want it. So now we're gonna go to file and save project or save project as, and then this is my railroad uniform dark, and so I'm gonna go ahead and choose railroad uniform dark. Now at the very bottom here, there's an option to copy the reference shape into the output. Uh, into the output, and we don't want that because that would actually add another body on top of our character's body uh, within this outfit, I, which I know is confusing, but just deselect that, click save, and then this is an option to bring in any cloth physics from the original NIF, if there was any, click OK. And there you go, now let's load this up in body slide and see how it works. Okay, here we are in body slide, and this is the tan version of the costume that I already converted previously, but we just did the dark version, so let's see if we can find that, and there it is. So here's the dark version, and it looks pretty good. I don't see any issues in this. Now we need to choose the body that we want. So the body type that I choose is I've got this juicy body type, which of course sounds really horrible, uh, and uh, what you want to make sure is that the outfit changes shape as you switch body types. So here's the CBBE petite version, the CBBE curvy version, and look at that. The outfit is changing shape normally, uh, which is a great sign. So let's choose the one we want, which is uh, Juicy Outfit. Again, a horrible name. <laughs> it sounds disgusting. And then once you've got it selected, go to the very bottom and go Build. Because the characters will not wear this in the game until you actually build it. Then all you got to do is log into the game and see if it worked. And there we go. That's the tan version. Let's see if we can find a railroad agent wearing the dark version. And look at that. Uh, the character is using the correct body shape. And I don't see any clipping issues, do you? Nope, looking pretty good. All right, so I think we did a good job there. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A quick and dirty tutorial on how you can take any costume or outfit designed by very talented modders and configure it to work with your desired body style. This same process is going to work regardless of the body type you choose. I simply showed you how to do this for the CBBE body type. For those of you who really like this railroad agent outfit, I have a link in the description to where you can download it for your own gameplay, and uh, including the CBBE compatible version that I just made. So there you go, ladies and gents. Take this and go forth and make your own conversions of your favorite outfits for Fallout 4 and have a blast. Hope this was useful. If you like stuff like this that kind of gets a little uh, uh, deeper into the whole modding scene, if you like getting your hands dirty with uh, textures and meshes and getting all this stuff done, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to do more tutorials on modding and the like. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.